It's a job that's a gamble every day. Biggest misconception about my job is the house always wins. I have blackjack, I have craps, Kygo poker, Bakra, three card poker, Texas Hold'em. Meet Neola Krupa. She's one of the many dealers at Mohican Sun at Pocono Downs near Wilkes Barre. A job Neola says came with four months of schooling. A little more than just counting to 21. People think it's easy, you can steal blackjack, anybody can do it. A lot of things that you deal with. People, you know, get angry. You just have to know how to keep your composure. You're basically a clear therapist. It's the same thing as any other service job, like a bartender. You listen to people's problems, you listen to their triumphs, their children. They show you pictures. They talk about their vacations, houses they bought. And those chats also mean keeping an eye out for people who might not know when to call it quits. We're supposed to ask them if they have a gambling problem. We do have a 1-800-GAMBLING hotline number, and there are also pamphlets at our promotions booth. To get a better sense of the training, Neola took me to dealer school, which is located in mobile offices behind the casino in Luzerne County. Here, she taught me all sorts of terms, including washing the cards, which is basically looking for imperfections in the deck. And one thing I just had to find out. I have seen dealers shake their hands off. I'm like, what's going on? Are they dancing? What's, what's that for? Anytime you touch yourself, go anywhere above, like below the table, you touch anything, you have to clear your hands to the camera to prove that you, know, you don't have text, you don't have any money. To check out some of the other people we profiled and daily roles in this segment, take this job and love it, just head to WNEP.com. I'm Ryan Lucky, Newswatch 16. It is a Friday to celebrate here on Newswatch 16 this morning. And today we learn how your generosity in the Ryan's Run 3 campaign is helping people here at home. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky is live at Allied Services with more on Ryan's Run 3 finale. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Mindy and Thomas. An exciting morning here on Newswatch 16. We got some folks who are pumped up for the big finale, right? <laughs> So we're live today at Allied Services in Scranton. And if you remember the Ryan's Run 3 campaign, it was dedicated to helping kids and adults with disabilities at Allied Services. Of course, over the past few weeks, some of the campaign changed into Ryan's recovery to help victims of Hurricane Sandy. We'll have more on that later on Newswatch 16 this morning. But first, a lot of you like to know where your money's going and the people it's helping. We're going to introduce you to a little girl who, at a young age, faced two heart surgeries, a brain tumor, went through chemotherapy, a bone marrow transplant, all before she was six years old. When you think of someone who's considered somewhat unstoppable, forget Superman or superheroes in general, remember this name, Kara Cook. This super strong at heart six-year-old from Tunkhannock has dealt with more medical battles than most of us will ever face in our lifetimes. All of this before she ever entered the first grade. She's just amazing, like she's, uh, she's very headstrong. It's here at Allied Services Pediatric Gym in Scranton where we met Alicia Cook and her little firecracker, Kara, who's been coming here since some of her first few surgeries. Here, she receives therapy to strengthen her upper body. During our visit, Kara kept tabs on everything, including my interview with her mom. So you're like my little field producer here. How am I doing? Good. Should I keep going? Okay. Kara's mom says being able to get the type of pediatric therapy Allied offers continues to help her little one make big strides. It's tremendous because I really think that home heals. But the journey started out difficult and she couldn't even um, lift herself up when she used to go through like an obstacle course or to a barrel. She couldn't even weight bear. Now with therapy, she's able to sh have more strength in her arms where she can push up and actually do all these physical activities. Yeah, Kara, you're doing a great job today. And speaking of staying active, Kara's favorite part of therapy is going through an obstacle course, which she decided to put me through as well after some quick instruction. Don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. All right. And at one point, oh yeah, I got stuck. Oh no. No. Oh no, is it too big? Then finally, home free. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Although Kara has surprised her doctors, therapists, and is living like most kids her age now, just like a superhero, the fight for a better life isn't over. Kara still goes through regular testing to make sure her cancer has not returned. Mostly MRIs every six months. I'm keeping good track of her, just making sure that she's on the right road. 
And later here on the Ryan's Run 3 finale, you'll meet Kara in person. She is a fighter. And more than anything, when we met her initially, we sort of uh, were amazed and felt bad for everything she went to. And her mom wants you to know, be inspired by this little girl and the strides she has made. Thanks to so many great therapists here at Allied Services, which is treating not only kids, but also adults based on need, not ability to pay. And we want to point out over the past several months as part of Ryan's Run 3, all of the money that you donated to Ryan's Run 3 stays in our area to help kids and adults with disabilities. The Ryan's recovery effort to help hurricane victims, that was entirely separate. We're going to show you that and give you a closer look at how we turned Ryan's Run 3 into Ryan's recovery at the last minute this past weekend. Much more coming up on Newswatch 16 with this bunch. Wake up! Yeah. Mindy and Tom, see you guys in a bit. All right, thanks so much, Ryan. See you later, Ryan. Today, we learned how much money you helped raise for kids and adults with disabilities. Plus, you, how you also made a difference in the lives of victims of Hurricane Sandy. News about 16's Ryan Leckie, live in Scranton with more. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Mindy and Tom from Allied Services in Scranton. Check it out. I'm hanging out with some members of the Ryan's Run 3 team, along with some folks from Allied, people who have benefited, like little Kara Cook, John Monahan, thanks to your donations. And you know what? Obviously, last weekend was supposed to be a big one for a lot of the runners on Team Leckie, as we were expected to take that 26 point two mile journey in the Big Apple. That was until the big race was canceled, but we wanted to put race day to good use, and that's why we turned Ryan's Run 3 into Ryan's Recovery. Our journey to deliver your generous donations began at Road Scholar Transport in Dunmore. The company donated its trucks and drivers to Ryan's Recovery, which involved many of you giving of disaster relief supplies on Sunday all to help victims of Hurricane Sandy in the New Jersey and New York areas. You know, you're not always in a you know, point of strength to help people, and when you are, you really need to make sure you secure that and you do everything you can to help people that are really in need. About three hours later, we made our first stop in Tom's River in the central part of New Jersey. And right there with the Ryan's recovery team and Allied Services employee, John Hines from Wilkes-Barre. John lived in Tom's River for 45 years and came with us to check on family members and his close friend, Steve Eccles. I feel great that at least I'm trying to help my, my hometown. I mean, Seaside Heights is devastated. The Tom's River area is devastated. It's my hometown. I mean, my goddaughter's here, but they don't want to be filmed, but it's to help everybody, not just them, the whole community. When he said they were coming down, I said, I'll be there to help you unload or whatever. This warehouse in Tom's River was one of two stops. Here, Hunger Relief of Ocean County works closely with the United Way to make sure those struggling get the help they need. Once these supplies leave the Hunger Relief Warehouse, they'll be distributed to pantries in and around the Toms River section of New Jersey. A lot of people are still trying to rebuild their lives, their homes devastated, some still filled with floodwaters. These little items could make a big difference. But our pantries um, work with people who might be in their homes and lost all their food and literally have no money to purchase more food items or the cleaning items. Um, their budgets are already stretched. The final stop, Staten Island, New York, an area that's still reeling, not just from Sandy, but the latest nor'easter and plenty of power outages. With a police escort from NYPD, our truck delivered supplies to the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation, a nonprofit created in memory of a New York City firefighter who died on September 11th. Here, your donations divvied up to help fill a void and hopefully turn heartbreak into hope. And again, we want to point out that big collection took place this past Sunday. And thanks to so many volunteers out there, friends and family, folks who work at Allied, you made it happen. And we were able to take some of those supplies to victims of Hurricane Sandy. We want to point out if you did donate to Ryan's Run 3 over the past several months, all of that money is staying right here in northeastern and central Pennsylvania to help out folks who utilize this facility, who are making strides like Kara Cook and also John Monahan, who you actually, we shared your story earlier, three strokes in one month before. And when you first came here, it took three three people to get you up and walking. What's the difference you've made? Oh, since I've been here now, I'm able to get up by myself and I walk with the use of just a, a, a straight cane. Oh, yeah. It's phenomenal. Doing some good stuff. And by the way, this is John's therapist, Stacy <laughs> Stacy Williams, who he refers to as Mr. Stacy because she cracks the whip. <laughs> Mr. Stacy in the house, many time. We have much more, including the final check presentation in our next hour. So stay tuned to see how much your generosity is making a difference for people here at home, guys. That's what it's all about, helping people. Thanks, Ryan. Right. See you later. Thanks, Mr. Leckie. One, two, three.
three. Let's see it. Here we go. I wanna thank you. Two hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars, six hundred and two bucks. And again, so many of you, when you look at that number and you wonder what exactly will we do with this cash in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, the CEO of Allied Services, Bill Conaboy, how is this going to help people here at home? Ryan, first and foremost, thank you and thank you to everyone that's been part of this effort. It's just amazing. And we want people to know that all this money stays here in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania and it goes into what you're seeing behind you, the best people available, the best technology, state-of-the-art equipment. So people don't need to leave Northeastern Eastern and Central Pennsylvania to get world-class treatment throughout the whole spectrum of people we treat. All right, hey, give it up because thanks to so many of you out there, the patients that Ally treats, kids and adults with disabilities, always helping them out based on need, not ability to pay. That is what that 264 plus thousand dollars will be going to. And Bill, you're looking at me with a marker. What's yeah. going on? Ryan, one more thing to do. This has become a tradition now. This is our okay. third year. One last thing to do, and you need to sign that check so we can deposit it. All right, I'm on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Thank you. Don't judge my handwriting. <laughs> All right, good stuff. <laughs> And one thing we want to point out, because this is the third year for the campaign, thanks to all of you out there, Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, we have raised more than a half million dollars for allied services in our area. So that's awesome, right? And before we go, Jim Brogna is over here. You have something else for us. Ryan, you've been a great friend to Allied and to so many people in this region. You see RR3, three years of running, more than half a million dollars raised and thousands of lives changed. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you, guys. Great. And of course, the Ryan's Run 3 celebration isn't over. We have more ahead, but special thanks because, again, this number is possible not only thanks to our viewers, but other organizations, schools, young students, businesses holding dress down days, people selling footprints. And a special thanks as well to the guy I call the brother I never had, the man behind the camera, photographer Corey Burns, who has joined me on this mission to help tell these stories of Allied and bring them to you throughout Ryan's Run 3. We have more coming up on WNEP 2, Mindy and Thomas, an exciting day. And again, 264. $4,602 money that will stay in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania to help people in our area, guys. And a round of applause from the anchor yes. guest for Ryan. Good job, my friend. Congratulations. Thanks, Way guys. to go.